Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbuli, and in this video, we are going to see what is dependency check file in Terraform. So, we'll we use the same configuration we created in the last session. So, we have a set of Terraform files. So, here we have a simple provider block. So, we are using the Google provider, and we are to simply create one a GCS bucket. So, that is very small piece of code we are using for Terraform, and we are trying to create one a GCS bucket. So when we use a provider, so provider is nothing but a plugins that will interact with the target API. So in our case, the target API will be a Google. If you are using the AWS, then the target API will be AWS and our provider will be AWS. So whenever we are providing a provider details here as a Google, so what Terraform will do after the Terraform init command, it will check for the latest available version of the google provider and it will download that version so we'll see executing the terraform in it and the one hcl.hcl terraform.hcl file will be created at the left side i'll show you once i execute a terraform in it so whenever we execute a terraform in it it will look for this provider it will check okay this is a google provider and it will check for the latest available version and once it got the version it will try to download that from the terraform registry so you just execute terraform in it and you keep eye on the left side as well okay so here you could see finding latest version of hashicorp google so it's terraform registry google provider installing 4.45.0 version so which is the latest version of google provider and once it is downloaded it will show the logs in green you could see one dot terraform folder will be created and one log file okay now you could see the logs so installed google hashicorp slash google version 4.45.0 signed by hashicorp that is verified version and you could see the plugins are downloaded here in dot terraform folder and it created one a terraform dot hcl file log dot hcl so that is the dependency log file so why this dependency log file is created so suppose as it is downloading the latest version from the google provider and there is an update in the google provider version suppose from 4.45 to 4.46 and suppose it does not support few up our current configuration so what will happen it will try to fetch the latest version and it will break our configuration so that's why the terraform will manage this log file now what will happen if i try to execute terraform in it again so you could see it is just reusing previous version of hashicorp google from dependency log file so it is just checking what is the version available here so it is version is 4.45.0 so this version is available you could see this file is maintained automatically by terraform init and it should not be edited manually so if you try to do terraform init again and again it will not download plugins again because it's are already downloaded and it's being reused for further execution now suppose i don't want to use this v4.45.0 version and i want to use any lower version than this so how i can give that so i'll just paste a simple piece of code here the terraform block i'll explain you what i'm doing here so just take here so required provider i'm mentioning in terraform block required provider will be google source will be hashicorp google and version so here we are giving the constraint so it is our constraint version should be less than 4.45 so suppose it can be 4.44 for that 43 or 4.43.0 1 2 3 etc so our constant is basically we should use the version which is lower than 4.45 now suppose i want to save it and try to execute terraform in it again it should throw an error because this version and the version in log file are not matching okay so we we'll try to execute a code okay so fail to query available provider package you could see the google 4.45 does not match the version constraint 
less than 4.45.0 so either we should keep here less than or equal to or we should delete this file and we should execute terraform init again one more thing i want to show here so you could see here folder 4.45.0 now if i execute terraform init again it will create one more folder for version which is lower than 4.45 now let me execute terraform init so it found lower version 4.44 and it will download plugins for 4.44 and it will create one more folder here you will see that soon so it's installing this 4.44.1 version now So it will take few seconds based on your internet speed as it will try to download file plugin file which will be .exe file so this is 4.44.0.exe and we are waiting for 4.44 which is the version constraint we have mentioned here now you could see it install plugins with version 4.44.1 and if i go here it will see two folders now for plugin 4.44.1 and the older one was 4.45.0 and earlier in dependency log file or dot terraform log dot hcl file there was a version specifically mentioned now if you see after mentioning the version constant the version it is showing version 4.44.1 and constant it is showing 4.45.0 so this dependency log file is maintaining the version and even if the latest version or version is being changed it will not allow terraform code to change with the version it will just give an error or we need to delete that dependency log file so this dependency log file hold version for the provider as well as a module if we are using any module for terraform so that's it for this dependency log file if you have any question let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching this video